Welcome back, everybody, to the Darkest of Souls. So, for once again having a lengthy uh, bit between, I really do apologize for that. It's just, you know, I'm doing so much focusing on Dragon Quest VIII and Breath of Fire Three that, you know, everything else basically takes a sideline to it. Even, unfortunately, the Soul Link as well. But I have decided on what I would like to do next. First, let's, let's wave at Lord Gwyn. Can't be there. Um... Do I even have weight? Yeah. Hey, Gwen. You look great, my boy. Okay. That's enough! What I would like to do is... Can I level? Ooh, I can. I won. Um... We do need a little more in intelligence. And then let's warp. Do I know what I want to do? I kind of like to get the four... No. We're going to definitely do... Um, we're definitely going to do the archives first because I want the perks of doing the archives which means I actually need to go to Firelink Shrine first because something very important uh, takes place there. I do worry about carrying around my humanity. <gasps> well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Was that your doing? It was. I did ring the bells. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This night of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Ye emit force. That's actually a cool one. It... it it emits force and pushes people away from you. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> okay. There you are. No Alright, so no he is repeating, and by below he does mean Blight Town. You're still here. Damn. That stench. <sighs> Maybe it's time I do something about it. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, shoot. Did I use all the souls that I needed? <laughs> Hello there. I thought that perhaps you'd gone hollow on me. Nope, I'm awesome. So have you come to further your study of sorcery? Mm-hmm. So to progress his stuff, you have to buy everything, which I obviously will not have enough souls for. I'm only 4k away, actually. Well, it's not Heading bad. Heading out, are you? I too will Shush. leave. Shush! We'll talk later. Nope. Wrong buttons. Been too long. Um. Oh, good. I'm fine. I'm fine like motherfucking wine, boy. Uh, it should be enough. I don't even remember how to play this game anymore! Oh, well, yeah. We're already good. I, I can stop. I'm gonna definitely stop and just save those just in case. Oh god, wrong buttons. Okay. Buy the stuff. There we go. Heading out, are you? I too will leave soon. Undead or no, I shan't stay here forever. You have great potential. Don't go and die over nothing. You got it, sir. Do you have oh, anything worth buying? I was buying? waiting to tell you. And he tells me that he has you to thank. He does. Give me a discount. Well, we are both. He's just over there. Go along. I know he's there, dude. I've already bought stuff. Hey. Oh, hello. I appreciate it. that. Will. Yeah. What do you still have, dude? Uh, nothing worth buying. Actually. Yeah, nothing worth buying. Goodbye then. Do Adios, stay. Adios, muchacho. Uh, let's do this real. Quick. Oh, right, right. We saved her, so we need to go put her soul back. And yeah. Return of the Firekeeper's soul. So you'll remember before she could not talk. Thank you. I am Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. So what does she mean by that? Forgive me. I am in... Please, 
if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. So she's not exactly happy that we brought back her ability to speak. Um, it kind of gives you a, an understanding to an extent of what it might be like to be a firekeeper, which is essentially not great. I'm going to kindle this fire a little more to give us 15 Estus flasks. And then we're going to make our way. And actually, first, let's attune some magic. I think actually we're quite good. Which one are you? Weapons. I need the one that just breaks shit. There's one that just like utterly, or not breaks shit. I need the one that's uh, uh, damage, poison. Uh, we'll get that later. I know where it is. It is in the Great Swamp. Speaking of fiery swamp people, I should say. What up, my boy? Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. Thank you, man. As always. Yep, you will always help out because you're a good man. Um, but. Let's buy that. More as well. I, don't, I, I thought I was going to use, you know, Pyromancies in this playthrough, but looks like not really, unfortunately. Um, so let's get on out of here. Let's warp. And let's now go to an Orlando. Ooh, actually, one more little side mission, my ladies and gentlemen, because sometimes you can find a certain someone at the Sunlight Altar. Also, did we beat the dragon here? We did not. Okay. Good to know. And there he is. Hmm. Uh, oh, hello there. Forgive me. I was just pondering about my poor fortune. Oh, really? I did not find my own son, not in Anor Londo, nor in Twilight Black Town. Where else might my son be? Lost Isolith? Or the tomb of the Grave Lord? But I cannot give up. I became undead to pursue this. But when I peer at the sun up above, it occurs to me, what if I am seen as a laughing stock? As a blind fool without reason. It's not well, the case. I suppose they wouldn't be far off. <laughs> Don't worry, Solar, we believe in you. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. God, I wish I could be so grossly incandescent. But alas, I cannot be. Um, so now, I think, yeah, we'll finally go to the Duke's archives. That's where we're going. Because, if, oh, by the way, if you kill her, you will get a Firekeeper soul, which can make your Estus go up to plus four, which we will do later, after we do, um, uh, Duke's archives. But until then, yeah, gonna sing some songs, yeah, as if we're in Pearl Jam. Oh, I figure that's how everyone it sounded, you know, in in '90s grunge. In other words, fucking terrible. If you want to be a male grunge singer, just hit, end every world with yeah. Yeah, it's like 7.55 at night, so I'm far more awake than I usually am when I let's play these games. And I kind of like it, to be quite honest with you and my boys. Um, I would like to get a nice... Wait, what? I haven't done the thing yet. Ah, I bet you there's one person watching just be like... So, 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 so. you got, you got to go, go talk to the dude. The dude that eats you with the face and then everything. Ah, <sighs> Crumbleopagus, Batman. So yeah, we have to actually go place the Lord Vessel. Uh, like we, like we told Framped that we would. Ba -da -ba. By the way, if you ever want to grind souls super easy, especially as a sorcerer, just put on the Helm of Avarice here and just kill all these giants. Again and again, respawn really fast. It's super easy. Super easy, like, oh my god. Holy. 
I've always wondered what happens if you uh, do the route for letting Lotric kill the girl, but then you don't actually go and get him, and you just go off and kill uh, Ornstein and Smo. Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved the Lord Vessel. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Thanks. He's like, yeah, it is weird. <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Yeah. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. Uh, don't. Ah, oh, it's so gross. Damn it, Framped. Feckin' weirdo. Whoever thought of this? Miyazaki, anything like that? What the fuck? This is the Firelink Chamber for the successor of Lord Gwyn. Place Lord Vessel. Ooh, my feet clipped through the branch. What did Bethesda make this game? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> God, I'm clever. Making jokes like no one's business. Well, damn, that's powerful. Wow, I, I didn't actually remember that part. That's kind of cool. Oh look, they made the barriers go away. That one looked green. Dude. What are you doing? I'll tell you what you're doing. You're becoming my... You're becoming my, uh, my, uh, what are you called? A thumbnail. Yeah. Do this, guys. Oh, my God. I did it right. Swoop. Yeah. 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 Alright, give my HUD back. I saw someone play without the HUD before. I was like, are you insane? Wait, are those Lord Vessels over there? The fuck, Framped? I see Lord Vessel right there! Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. Uh -huh. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the Four Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath, the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. So early on in this Let's Play, I kind of bitched and moaned about how people bitched and moaned about um, Dark Souls 2 being linear and this one being so open, giving you so much choice, and I was like, I disagree. Um, I think Dark Souls 2 is more open-ended, uh, more um, player allowance, and that this is far more... God, you're weird, friend. And that this game is far more linear. Um, you saw those, that we have to kill those four people. Here's here's the here's the freedom you get. What order would you like to kill them in? That's your freedom. That's it. Now you kind of have the same quest in Dark Souls 2 where you have to kill like three or four Lord Souls or whatever, but you could also do none of that and just collect like a hundred thousand souls or something obscene like that and just hand it in and boom, you progress. So to me that is more 
um, more choice because you actually have choice of how you reach middle end game. Uh, so, yeah, this game is not open. The world in this game is phenomenal. The world is what allows you to travel around super cool like. But it's, this is not a super freedom based game. It's just not. So people don't want to sit there and say it is. Cool, if you want to trick, you want to lie to yourself, that's fine. Or if you want to have like the loosest definition of freedom in a game. Um, a game that I like to actually harp on for being kind of simple is Skyrim. It has a lot more freedom than this game does. Of course, that's meant to be an open-ended sandbox game, but still. Um, people over glorify Dark Souls 1. Am I saying that's a bad thing? No. I mean, Dark Souls 1 is a phenomenal game. Truly a groundbreaker for its genre. Uh, but it, it's not... You don't need to hype it up more than it is. It's already a phenomenal game. You don't need... Basically, you don't need to lie about it. It's a phenomenal game. You don't have to be like, Oh, you got so much freedom! No. You pick your class or build your class like in every game. Hey, look! Boars! I fucking hate this part so much. I'm so bad with these boars. Like, I can never consistent. I can't consistently get the backstab. See? No backstab. Ah, Rumbalopagus. Sometimes I just like to ignore them. Let's just chug one. Oh, crap! And end up with less health than we started. I can hate these boars. Yeah, just bypassed my shield. That's cool. Totally cool, dude. Appreciate that fucking shit. I just, I don't know where to stand for the fucking backstab. It's bullshit. It's stupid. And since I didn't sit in Anorlando, I don't fucking I have my problems with this game sometimes. Ah. But yeah, I mean, like I said, some things don't lend itself to being a mage. I think the boars are one of those things. Um, but we'll we'll get past them. We'll get past them. We'll go get our souls back. More importantly, we'll get our humanity back. Because uh, I need all of that. I do. Pretty sure I do. Basically, I don't want to have to farm humanity. Because I have a very specific goal in mind for said humanity. Anyone that's played this game enough knows exactly what that goal is. And if you don't know what that goal is, well, you'll see when we suddenly go through like 30. I would say in an instant, but no, it takes like a solid fucking minute or so to go through them. And don't worry, I'll be that one up for you, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. And on the outside and underneath, and I don't, con I don't pretend to understand gender things these days, but at the end of the day, I'm just like, I don't give a shit. Just don't yell at me. It's basically me, just don't yell at me. I'm fine. If I say something wrong, just deal with it. It's not on purpose. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, look at! Just do any. No, oh, fuck my face! I hate these things so fucking much. With love a butt step. Okay, come on, come on. That should have been. Can we get it? Can we get it? Good, good, good. What the fuck? Come on, where's the backstab position? Ah! Fuck it, fuck, I'm done. I'm done. Here's the bad part, there's a second one. Goodbye! Yeah, I, I, here's the thing, you can't actually just be done, at least I can't. Come on! They take decent damage from magic. Fuck me! Sit the fuck down. Okay, I thought that it didn't take damage at all from uh, that. And we might get their head. Yes! You can get this from the original uh, boar that you fight early in the game. And I, would, I usually, I'd say in total, I have like a 30 to 40 percent chance of getting it. Uh, in my playthroughs, but it's fucking ridiculous, but it is super cool. I really do like it. 
Okay, now I know that Matt. What the fuck? Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. My game crashed. I've not had that happen in, honestly, longer than I can remember. So, uh, yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen again. But, hey, love the autosave feature of this game. It saved it right there for me. Good stuff. So there should be a second... Um, Yes, there he is! Get up, my boy! Hey, come on, Phil. Oh, fuck! Me! Why, dude? I misclicked my buttons. Ah, from game crashing to just dying to stupid shit doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Oh well, let's try this again. As you can tell, I'm super happy about how this is fucking going. I mean, this is what happens though. I've taken like a two or so week break from playing this game, so only got my shelf to blame. Oh no, that's when a book falls on me. Derp. Get it? A book fell on me and I only have my shelf to blame. Get it? It's a pun. And it's quite warm in this room. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I don't know if that pig responds. I want to say it does not. But I have definitely been wrong before. So just in case, we're going to do this one. And launch a bunch of soul spheres at them. And... Oh, good. You're not back. So who's going around keeping all this shit lit? Because it's lit, fam. Also, oh, there's my souls. I was like, where's my stuff? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run in, let these things slam into its face. Yep, didn't do, okay, good, that's what I want. Oh, come on, stupid bull. Come on. Oh, sit down. Just like Arnold would say in um, Kindergarten Cop, sit down. You eat other kids' lunches too? Stop it. I like, hardly remember that movie, but I remember that. And yeah, we just have to make it here. It's literally that easy. So you can w run past them and, you know, do a little shenanigans uh, to, you know, warp them back and you'll be fine. You never have to deal with them again because you can. Actually, I don't know if you can warp there, but, you know. By the way, so, ladies and gentlemen. This place is kind of hard. At least for me. In fact, I see good YouTubers. Or sorry, I see good Dark Souls players struggle in this game. And so, yeah. Uh, that is a worry, obviously. Isn't there a... Oh, crap. I was thinking of a completely different room. Seat. Down! Nope! Nope! Stop it! What? I'm sorry, dude, but no. That's not how you fucking stab someone. Oh, yeah, huh? There's an archer there. <sighs> Fuck, I forgot we had DLC in this game. Kinda stinks. Because I didn't really want to do it. Honestly, not sure if we will do the DLC, because I've never actually completed the DLC before in my life. Um, I actually just don't like it that much. I know a lot of people believe uh, for the um, Artorias DLC to be like one of the best DLCs ever made, and I can agree with that. I, I just don't like it that much. I just don't, and I'm sorry. But we'll see if I do it or not. Because uh, I know I think I originally said we would, but, you know, sometimes things change. Oh, Rumbelina. But yeah, that uh, pendant is how you get into the DLC. That's why I was thinking about it. And clap. Stop it. Thanks. Um, and a lot earlier in the game, I tried to get the uh, Chandler's Trident. That's who you farm it off of. Anybody else here? Uh, actually, let's do this. And just get up in there. 
Damn it! It's not a good start. Not a good start because I was like, oh, I should do like all of Duke's archives today. This is how it's gonna fucking be. God damn. This is horrific. There's the lever. I was like, I've never died there. So I was like, I've never had to pull this back down. Ever. And I've done this quite a bit. I wish me playing, you know, showed that. I really wish it did. But no, it doesn't. It's fine. But that's, I mean, this is the difficulty of, one, not playing for a while, obviously, like I just said earlier, and as well as playing a sorcerer after playing more melee classes. Because uh, you get used to actually, what I would say, playing the game right. Um, and because social mode is, to an extent, easy mode, except for a few. Dude, stop being a cunt. Except for a few things. Sit the fuck back. So yeah, I'm, also spears aren't the greatest weapons for. Uh, for a lot of things. They're slow. They don't break poise. Um, yeah. It's mainly... Fuck me. I mean, they're decently powerful if you have the right one, right build, but it's like... Fuck. We cannot lose. Oh, that was just pure luck, to be honest with you. And yeah, we've got to be a little careful here, because if we lose those souls, we're fucked. This, like, the playthrough is kind of not in a good space. More so, I mean, the humanity. Um, can we not? do that much damage to me. How freaking great would that be? Okay. I'm gonna shoot at him. I just get rid of his his homies. Oh shit, I forgot my thing smashed into you. That fucks everything up. Wow, really? Those arrows are far too accurate. Can you just calm the fuck down, dude? No! Stop! Jeez Louise, boy. Sit down. I thought we'd be halfway through the archives at this point. We're just about done with the fucking episode. That is embarrassing as all hell. Fuck down. You gonna drop your staff? Of course you're not. I only have perfect stats for it right now for you to drop it. <clears throat> anyway, we're gonna get a little further in before we call this episode. Start using magic because, well, I'm a sorcerer. That's what I'm supposed to do. I think I need to rely on my spear a little less. Especially a magic spear against uh, crystal coated dudes. What is this? Soul of a brave warrior. Good stuff. Sit down. Sit down. Please. Think there's a dude there. I know there's definitely a dude to the left. Okay, sit down. Someone behind me. Yep. Oh, that timing. Um, let's go over yonder. Now, Duke's Archives is a very um, unique place. It's one of those places where you have to die, and I don't like that mechanic being in a game. But you can, to an extent, prep for it. Uh, there's a chest goal over there, so we'll get that. Ooh, would you drop some shitty crystal weapon? Yep, crystal straight sword. 
crystal weapons pretty darn strong uh but they cannot be repaired so the only way to repair them is oh fuck me god damn it didn't even look fuck me The only way you can repair them is to upgrade them, and eventually you can't upgrade them anymore. They break and. <sighs> I've honestly not died to a mimic in years of this game. <clears throat> a little bit demoralized right now. A little bit. <sighs> really glad I don't have a face cam at the moment. The video game soul, it's fine. Just a video game. It's just so annoying to have to constantly restart, you know? At least at least target what I want to. That'd be fucking great! Fuck! Down! Fuck you, you whore! I will say unresponsive controls get to me more than anything because and that's why I always recommend to people never play the Souls games back to, like next to each other all, at times because the controls are so different you will destroy yourself. You will utterly obliterate yourself if you try to do that. Uh, you can go away sir. You can definitely go away. You can, you can see down the left guy. Um, he has the that kind of aura around him. That means he has the buff from the channeler. Oh, I didn't know you were gonna do a full thing. Please don't jump. Thank you. In fact, let's use a soul spear. Show him we mean business. Business time. It's business. It's business time. Dude, fucking... Of unresponsive game controls. Come on, start dancing, mother looker. <clears throat> Sit down. Forgot to equip the ring to increase my odds, because I still want that spear. I will get rid of the um, spear we currently have. No bugs in this game. None whatsoever. Let's try this. Let's try this. Oops, shot too early. Or late, however you want to look at it. Ah, just wasting time. Just wasting time. Backtracking, doing stuff again. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Shit, am I really out? Fuck, no, not that. Whatever, you're extra special dead or something like that. Okay, let's get our souls back. Let's throw Aloyd's talisman on this sneaky, sneaky, but am I out? Okay, I'm out of Lloyd's Talismans, that's fine. Okay, so let's just wake up! Grab a brush and put a little mech out! Come on! Fucking go! Yeah! Okay, Crystal Knight Shield, piece of crap. Uh, we saw something over here. Can't remember if there's more dudes here though. Yep, there's. It's a shadow. Could you not? Thanks for being dead. 
I appreciate your patronage. Twinkling Tide Knight. I think we're actually using that for something. So, that's good. And now we're just going to go on up here. So we can get close to ending the episode. Uh, we are not going to utilize the cheat because the point is to show off, you know, the game. There's a, a skip you can do here that skips, I could say, 20, maybe 10, 20 minutes, depending on how good you are. Um, but I don't like the skip, and that's not the point of this Let's Play. Nor am I very good at it. Yeah, we're going to lose our side ones more than likely. The goal is to at least keep our middle three because of that boy. Really? Rolls McGee. Damn. I mean, you looked cool. I'll give you that. You looked cool. Give me your stuff. Three thousand. Uh, so yeah, if you're for some weird reason using this as any form of guide. Oh shit! Forgot about you, guy. Definitely forgot about you. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, see all these crystals? Crystals make curses for some reason. See that? Uh, do this. Trust me. Come over here. And put on the die, lose nothing, nullify curse, and let the ring break. Trust me. Because this is a time where you just have to die. See the scaleless. Might as well do what you can. So you can utilize this section as a means of kind of figuring out what Steve likes to do. There you see, you can hit him, but you're not going to kill him. You will not. I promise. So in all honesty, you should just sit there and die earlier than later. Yep. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, you can't win. But the real ring revival! Yes! Fuck this current session. Cause yeah, here you are. He throws you in jail cause he's a dick. So ladies and gentlemen, before we forget, put that back on. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope the next session, which will start in about two minutes, is better than this one was. But until then, thank you so much for watching and bye bye for now.